Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the Steel Mall type run of EV Emerald. Last time, we beat Flannery in a very cheap way. I know, not the most exciting way to do things. But I wasn't going to take any chances with overheat. So that should be the last time I'll be doing something like that in this run. This time, we'll be going to Route 111 to check out the desert, but first, a quick detour to the fiery path. Oh, and one more thing before I forget. I've been thinking. Maybe I might want to include a little sub goal. So, how about this? If I get 10 subscribers on YouTube or Rumble before I beat Steven, I might also try to beat Master Rate Contests in all five categories using only Steel types. Let me know if any of you want to see that. Maybe we gotta get back over here, because there's some items that you can get now that you have access to strength. And there's, uh, some minor boulder puzzles here. They're easy enough, usually. There are some harder strength puzzles later on. The most difficult one would be in Seaport Cavern. Okay, let's make sure there's no hidden items. First item we find is Toxic. This is something I'm probably going to end up using on Skarmori. Skarmori is very good for Toxic Stall. I might, I might not, I don't know. There's one thing I gotta think about is if I end up doing that sub goal, now I have to consider do I wanna use my TMs now or save them for contest teams later? Because some of these contests may be very difficult to do without using TMs, just because of the movesets available to the Pokemon I have that I can use. Okay. And then you come down here, and you find a Firestone. I think this is the only Firestone you find in the o in the overworld. Other than that, you need to get red shards and take it to a certain NPC to trade them. Anyway, so there's not real, there's nothing else to do in Fiery Pass, so I guess we'll cut real quick. One more detour yet again to swap out the bikes. This time, we're picking up the mock bike. And this is mostly for Mirage Tower, if it appears. It doesn't appear every time you go into Route 11, so we may have to reset a couple of times. And cutting ahead. And here we are, we're back at Route 111, and wouldn't you know it, there's Mirage Tower. But first, let's go get a couple of items over here. So, there's nothing particularly essential to me in Mirage Tower, but you can get... This is where you get the fossils in Emerald version, opposed to Ruby and Sapphire, where they're just lying around. So... Well, other than that, it's just a tower that you can climb. Now, I have also pre-selected the mock bike. I don't think there's any hidden items in here. Because there are some, uh... Puzzles involving uh, crumbling floor tiles. And, well, the trick is not only to have good control, but to make sure you don't overshoot. Repels really help with this, because otherwise, wild Pokemon are just going to mess you up constantly. So as soon as I beat up this Trap Hinch, I'm going to pop a Repel and use that to get across. First check if I got any items. Nope. 
Okay. Now I'm very, very rusty when it comes to these puzzles, so it may take a few attempts. Yeah, this can get really obnoxious. Oh, god damn it. Not helping matters is I am pretty sure there's a delay on web on inputs for emulators, so this may actually be even harder. Yeah, there we are, we're across, second try. Okay, let's see, is there anything over here? Oh yeah, this time we can take a shortcut using Rock Smash. Anything over here? Actually, no, we could have gone that way anyway. Alright, so, you have two fossils. The Root Fossil and the Claw Fossil. The Root Fossil gives you... Lilip and the Claw Fossil a North. Now, don't worry about missing out on the other one because you can get the other one in the post game. We'll talk about that later. Doesn't really matter which one I take because neither evolve into Steel types, so I can't use it. I'm gonna take the Claw Fossil. And with that... Mirage Tower collapses into the sand, never to return. Anyway, moving on. So now we're going to move to the south and start taking on the various trainers out here. This is just going to be a little bit more training ahead of the next gym battle. Which is going to take us all the way back to Petalburg City. Because, well, it's time to fight your dad. So, something you may want to notice. The presence of a Ruin Maniac on a given route is a hint that one of the legendary golems is on that route somewhere. There's one here, there's another one on the route on the way to Dufort on the way to Town, and then there's another one on the route past Fortree City. That's where you find the three golems. Reg uh, Regirock, Regice, Reg Steel. I guess it's one of the nice things about running steel types is, in addition to being immune to poison, it means I don't take damage from Sandstorm, too. You know what? Yeah, we're just gonna... Bump them around. Put all the special attacks on the right side, all the physical attacks on the left. And there goes Picnic for Becky. There's a couple of hidden items around here. Rare candy here. Stardust. And here we have a couple different double battles we can do. Or well, we can take them on one at a time, but I want to do double battle. Better be a damn good sandwich, then.
We'll use Confusion, because Sans Sandrew has hired the defense. Oh, fuck off. Swift. Swift also hits both targets at once. And it never misses. Doesn't have the increased crit rate, and I don't get stab bonus from it, though. Mm hmm. That's the King's Rock right there. That proc on Swift. Doesn't happen often, but it can come in clutch occasionally. Uh, of course, because it's dark type, so it doesn't get affected. That was a waste. And there goes the battle! And we're coming up on the 10 minute mark for this particular segment, so I'm gonna cut real quick in a moment. And we're back! There's another trainer over here. Who has a picnic in a sandstorm? It's like, you ever go to the beach and drop your food in the sand? It's, it's disgusting. down. Anyway, let's go to the south. This is where you'd find Reg Rock later, by the way. But you see rocks in that formation, that means one of the golems is there. But you need to unlock the door to enter first. And then, once you're inside, there's an extra puzzle you gotta solve. Now we come down here and pick up the TM for Sandstorm. Oh boy, that structure you can see it um, just the top of right there, that's Trainer Tower. It's uh, kind of like an endurance challenge that you can do. It was added in Fire Red and Leaf Green, and then Emerald Version added too. Nope, nothing. I forget, if there, I forget if you really get anything for it, or whatever, I might try it out later. Come on. Right, because that's one of the really annoying things about Sandstorms. It reduces everyone's accuracy. Doubly so if one Pokemon has Sand Veil. And 
for this, we'll use Pursuit for the first time in this run. Oh, come on. Fuck off. Okay, what do we get this time? Trap Inch. Oh yeah, by the way, Trap Inch has the Arena Trap ability often, so... Unless you got a Pokemon with Levitate, or it's a Flying type, you're stuck in the battle and you can't switch, either. So, yeah. It's annoying. over here. Oh, fuck off. Okay, now I'm annoyed. I just want to find this damn item. Let's pop a repel real quick so these wild Pokemon will fuck off. Oh, yeah, I think it's right... Or no? No, it's not. It's very rude of entry like that. And it's a protein! Good stuff! We're gonna give you... to, uh... Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna give it to you. Black Sabbath. Okay. Now there's, a, like, one or two more trainers. Take this guy on first. And over there on the far right of, your, of the screen right now, that is where the fossils were in Ruby and Sapphire. Unlike in Emeralds, you really could only have one or the other. The other when you took one, the other would just vanish for no reason. here. Yeah, use the item fighter every once in a while. Find random stuff. Some of it could be pretty good. One last trainer. Is it Bo or Bew? Uh, nah, I'm not gonna bother with Pursuit this time. Pursuit's only really useful if you're able to get a hard read on the opponent when they're gonna switch, and here's the thing. The AI will almost never switch unless it's some unless there's literally nothing they can do to you. You tend to see this a lot if you're using Shedinja, because the, the AI will just immediately switch to something that can actually harm you. Go. There goes the battle. So I think this is going to wrap it up here, guys. Um, if you like what you see, be sure to comment, subscribe. Remember, I set a sub goal. You get 10 subs on YouTube or Rumble. I might also beat the contest. We'll see. Um, anyway. Next time, we are going to be taking on the fifth gym back in Petalburg City. Until then, have a nice day.